Iowa is Republican presidential candidate Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky. I just saw on a map, uh, Senator, minus 11 degrees in Des Moines. Oh, that's I nice. I hope you're enjoying <laughs> yourself out there. Yikes. Um, so, um, yeah. you actually uh, view the Iran deal far differently than most of the other Republicans in this race. Tell us what you think about uh, what just happened this weekend. You know, I think when something good happens, we ought to celebrate it. I think sometimes for partisan reasons, politicians on both sides become sort of like wind-up dolls. And if the other side does something good, they have to complain no matter how good it is. And I think we should celebrate. I mean, I've been trying and advocating for Saeed Abedini for several years now, uh, writing letters, meeting with his wife, uh, introducing legislation, trying to get him released. I think he's a real hero. You know, you've just talked to a Washington Post reporter who obviously is a hero for freedom of speech as well. But uh, Saeed Abedini is a pretty brave man to have uh, tried to spread Christianity over there and live to tell about it. So, but we're excited to get them all home, and uh, I think, you know, when something good happens, we shouldn't uh, immediately revert to partisanship and say, oh, you know, it's all President Obama's fault. I think that's a mistake. So, so Senator Paul, off of what you're just saying here now, is, is that where a big part of our politics is today? Is that why you think you are a bit different from the, some of the other candidates on the, in the, on the stage in that they, they indicate automatic disagreement and disavowal of anything that comes from President Obama, even though the only thing they know about it is what they, you and I, read in the papers. Right. See, I call that empty partisanship. I have my disagreements with the president, and I voice them, but I also have things that I agree completely with him on. Criminal justice reform and some of the clemency that he's done, I think, are a good idea, and I really want to push for a criminal justice reform. You know, I work with Ron Wyden on a daily basis on protecting privacy in the Fourth Amendment, so I really don't see party labels stopping me. It's not that I'm not ideological. I'm very conservative, very much for balanced budgets. But I'm also somebody who will work with other people who have similar uh, ideas on certain subjects. Tell us about the campaign since the last debate. You made the bold decision not to go on uh, the, 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 the earlier debate. Um, uh, all these days later, are you glad you made that decision and how is the campaign moving forward now? Yeah, I think it's not ever a good thing to be excluded from a debate, but I think we made as much good out of something that wasn't a great situation. But yesterday, I'm in Des Moines. I'm in the headquarters in Des Moines. We have 75 to 100 young men and women making phone calls. They have made a half a million phone calls for me. So it's just amazing how people gloss over what's going on in a campaign because it's really easy to say, oh, it's a one, two, three-person race because of polling. But Iowa can surprise a lot of people. Only very few people show up to the caucuses. And our goal is 10,000 students. I met with 22 of my leaders from different schools in Iowa last night. We had pizza. Uh, and so I think we're doing a lot better than people report, but we have to overcome the perception that's created by the media, who I think dumbs us down by only covering polling, that only a, a few people have a chance, when in reality, everybody's got a chance until the voting occurs. All right, Hello. Senator Rand Paul, thank you so much thank for being you. with us, and good luck in Iowa. Thanks. Thanks.